Hello, welcome back. I'm Mick from the Late Night Vape Show, and we're back to do another review. Sadly, we're going to do the last one um, from the Ancient Elixir line. So today, it's the turn of Tropic. Got to be honest, I think I've left this till last. Um, not really on purpose, but a little bit like when you were a kid and you used to push your sprouts to the side of the plate to see if you could get away with it. <laughs> It's not really my uh, not really my thing. I, I didn't think it was my thing to be honest, uh, but I've uh, I've really sort of you know surprised myself with this. So we'll just put the camera down, have another last look around the bottles, and uh, and then we'll come up and have a vape on it, and I'll let you know what I think. So if you've been watching uh, this, the reviews of the whole um, e liquid line, you'll probably have seen far too much of these bottles. Uh, but if you're the first time looking and this is your flavour profile, we'll just show you a brief look round. Obviously, the labels are all the same, apart from the little medicine bottle in, uh, and they've changed the colour on that to let you know which one you're doing. This is uh, comes in a 100ml short fill with uh, two free nicotine shots, well, two included nicotine shots that you put in there, which will then give you um, 120ml of 3 milligram strength, uh, nicotine e-liquid so there's the uh, social medias in case you want to have a look at them and uh, because there's some good things to come from these uh, apparently for mr nevins they're going to take the world over by 2024 so that'll be interesting to see uh, so social medias uh, instagram facebook and uh, twitter ancient elixir liquids opposite the top there this just because you the ingredients vg pg and it's actually an 8020, so it's fairly cloudy. There's the um, flavor profile at the bottom coconut imbued cream soda infused with tropical fruit. So I've just said, which is probably my worst nightmare, really tropical fruits. But anyway, let's go. Keep out of reach of children, not to be sold to minors. A well, minor in this country is somebody under the age of 18 years, because uh, that is the age above 18 years where you're allowed to buy uh, vape related products. And then it's, again, it says there about adding the two uh, nicotine shots and it will finish off the actual mix uh, and then give you a three milligram strength uh, nicotine e-liquid. So there's the created by NM Labs. Uh, there is a website down there, warning labels at the bottom, including the one at the end, which is uh, don't go ruining water courses with it. So, so that's had a look and uh, we'll put the camera back up and we'll have a vape on it and I'll tell you all about it. So there we are. That's took a look around the bottle for the last time. For anybody that's not seen it, uh, now we're going to go on to uh, have a vape. Now I've been vaping it today in a tank, to be honest, and you'll probably notice we are a little bit vapey uh, in our current state of uh, keeping all the uh, vape away from my wife because she's not been very well. I've had the door shut. So anyway, what we said was we would uh, use the same device each time. So we're on the purge slam piece uh, with a pair of. Um, John's uh, proper coils aliens in there coming in at a point one and uh, we'll take it for a two just before we do a bit of insider information passion fruit pineapple and mango now I've uh, not really vape mango because I've listened to other people saying that mango smells a bit like you know you've had a tomcat in there and stuff like that Bill um, so I've not really vaped a lot of that but I found a small bottle yesterday in the uh, cupboard that must have come as a you know as a as a free sample from probably after buying something or something like that and I just fancied the change to be honest so I popped it in there it was a 10 milligram uh, nick salt one uh, and I've really enjoyed it um so when this was a, a pleasant surprise when I got into uh, into the tropic that um, it was a flavor in there that I already already knew so that's it I've been vaping it we'll just put some on the mech so let's have a go on here I mean, you do get the, uh, you can taste the pineapple in there. I'm not sure about the coconut. There's a coconut in there. Whether that's used just to back it up and uh, and sweeten it off a little bit as a different sort of uh, flavour. Uh, but the mango's definitely fairly prominent. You can get the zing of the pineapple in there. Um, and the, the passion fruit's obviously in there somewhere, but again, probably just to, uh, to round the flavour off. Um, and it's nice. I'll be honest, it's nice. I probably would uh, buy it 
myself, to be honest. But um, after I bought some of the other ones, to be honest. Uh, now, my favourite in this line, we'll just go over them again as it's the last one, uh, is the blush. I absolutely love that. And if you're a f um, fan of uh, Suicide Bunnies pre-TPD mother's milk, you'll absolutely love that. Um, the trifle. I re I've really, really enjoyed the trifle as well. I've been vaping that as well. I'm going to vape these off in tanks, to be honest. Uh, I do tend to vape tanks more than uh, mechs nowadays. The salty. That was absolutely lovely as well. A nice salted caramel. A good sort of full-bodied um, uh, caramel in there as well. Obviously the blue as well. The blue's been my favourite since before it was made. I've, I've had some... Um, I had uh, Nick's Smurf Lust. I don't know why, sometimes I just don't want to focus. I think he's looking at that picture. And now on to the Tropic, which, say, I would, I would probably buy that as well. Nice, a nice change, a nice zesty sort of uh, uh, vape. All in all, a really good e-liquid line. Um, you can tell that Nick is a... a a mixologist and he's also been a chef so the the flavors blend together really well and um very smooth sort of flavors i've really enjoyed them and I, you know I, I wish him all the luck in the world because he really deserves success anyway thanks very much for following this um a liquid line through the reviews on there and uh, hopefully we'll catch you this way again thanks a lot bye bye